Hi you guys, so I thought I would do a video to show you some of the new Japanese stationery that I got recently and the reason why I got it is because I have been putting my ASMR video ideas in my Hobonichi which is fine, which is fine although it, it was um, the daily segment, this, the daily sec section was originally meant to be for my dream diary and my gratitude journal but this is how many ideas I have, I currently have 188 um, content ideas and this is um and it's really just organized it's a mix between um titles and actual um dialogue all handwritten and so i thought i needed some place to um organize it so i'm just going to show you some of the stuff that i got and let me tell you this store that i go to is so posh okay i know this is i know this is mid-range japanese um stationery it's not um, it's not super super, this is kind of, yeah, upper mid-range, but this store is so posh in that they don't include, they, they don't attach price tags and price labels on their products. They just assume that, I mean, granted, it is, it is a diplomatic district, so people are bound to afford these things, but I just, I, I, honestly, I've, I, I'm not posh, so I've never been to a shop where they don't attach um, price tags and they just assume you'll pay whatever but anyway so this is the first thing it's um it's a 20 holer it's a 20 hole system but it's only got de facto 8 which I like and personally my favorite system is 6 holes but I don't know it's so hard to get 6 hole inserts and this I got um I got the inserts these are 5 millimeters these are five millimeters, so they're bigger than um, Hobonichi um, grids. So I don't know how I feel about that necessarily. And this is 80, 85 GSM, which is thick by my standards because bef I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but before I was a Hobonichi girl, I was a Moleskine girl. And Moleskine is about 70 GSM, so I've always kind of been on the thinner side when it comes to paper stock cardstock um so yeah this is kind of fancy for me um so there's that it's a 20 hole system and i also got this clipboard because i burnt my <laughs> i actually burnt my last um clipboard because i am hardcore like that so this is that um yeah and it goes okay so part two i burnt my old um oh this makes this this makes nice asmr sounds the only thing i don't like about this is i feel like they could have covered this part although i guess that would make it um a little weightier but yeah um this is really nice and it's got like this kind of um thingamajig it's got this kind of I'm not sure what to call it, but it's kind of like a fortress to keep your papers in place. So I can hold it um, in portrait and landscape, which I kind of need because um, on my doctor's role play, I've got stuff to show and they're not just snell and charts. And I also, I have to make my own snell and chart. Not that I'm too cheap to buy my own snell and chart, but I have to make my own snell and chart for the purposes of the sorry okay so i've got to make my own snelling chart and i've got to make my own what's the japanese chart's name i forgot but there's a japanese chart and there's there's a, there's a dutch uh, chart the dutch chart is the snelling chart and the japanese chart is for color blindness and i have to make both of them oh my god i've got too many ideas and half of them are pretty hard to execute um but yeah, this will be really, I am so sorry for the traffic noise. Um, so um, it's got this kind of little thingy and yeah, it's nice. And I guess it makes nice sounds because it's plastic, but it's thick plastic. It's Japanese plastic. Okay, so um, the, okay, so that's the first batch of the stuff that I got on one Saturday. Um, have I mentioned the um, paperweight? Yeah, I have mentioned the paperweight and the paper stock on that. And then I went again last Saturday 
at 7 p.m. <laughs> and then I got this, which is for the printouts for the scripts. And okay, this has got a little flap, which is nice. But this is what what was really nice about it is that it's this part is straight, so the, my scripts will come out straight. And then I got this, which is kind of a folder, and the insides are plastics. These are plastic little, um, um, what's the word? Well, it's called a clear book, but it's got plastic pockets. It's got plastic pockets. Um, and then I can put like my charts. I'm not supposed to say like inappropriately, um, but I can put my charts inside and I can slip them in without having to um, perforate them and put them here. So this is for the scripts. Um, and then I also got this little soft ring thing. So there was another version that um, was refillable, but I don't, I, I wasn't very, um... And we are at part three. I can't believe I need three parts to talk about this ish, because at the end of the day, it's just paper. But here we are. Anyway, so, um, where were we? Oh, right. So I got this little, t little teeny tiny thing for my resin ideas. Because I've got resin ideas that nobody's ever done before and they're really different. So I had a little kind of um, page on my Hobonichi and um, there was another version of this that was refillable but I chose to get this. It's perforated paper um, because the refillable part, although it's novel and unique and I would love to own something like that, I wasn't so sure about finding the refills so might as well just get something normal. It, it, it's, it's very Muji, isn't it? It's very, it's very Muji. Anyway, so here's the um, binder. It's an A5 binder. So this is, this is, is it, is this B5 or A5? It's A5. It's A5, and it's the same size as my ho, um, Hobonichi cousin. It's the same size as the Hobonichi cousin, and everything else though. Everything else though that I bought. Um, all of this stuff this is all a4 which is the standard paper um, um, anyway so um, this is the folder and it comes with um, just enough um, ruled paper so I'm not sure what measure let me just so it is it's um it's eight millimeters it's eight millimeter ruled which is huge, but then I've got awful handwriting, so that's fine. So the, the rule paper, these lines, I'm going to use for the titles and ideas It's themselves. I think I have enough for about, yeah, I have enough. And this, this, sec this section is for the dialogue, and um, I like that you can kind of um, slip through new um, pages for each, because, yeah, it's, it's better for, for um, writing scripts to have papers that you can kind of slip through in the middle rather than this. And the reason why I picked um, grid paper instead of line paper is I'm trying to make this far enough that you can't actually see my handwriting, but just enough that you can see that I draw things. I wouldn't say that I necessarily storyboard, which sounds really kind of grandiose, but I don't storyboard. But I do kind of draw layouts of where I'm going to put stuff. And I've got my Snellen chart, my special kind of other charts that um, I have to make myself. Compared to the Hobonichi, um, these ones are kind of big. But yeah, this is a treat because it's kind of thicker paper.